Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls watching this on YouTube, hello, welcome back. Uh, as of actually streaming this, the previous week's episode still hasn't gone up on YouTube because unfortunately I've just kept forgetting. Apologies for that. It wasn't a very long one though, mostly because the rage quit happened. This week, I have an autosave mod that will hopefully prevent that incident from reoccurring. We'll see. We shall see. Anyway, uh, we lost a bunch of progress at the end of the last uh, stream, essentially is what happened, so uh, we're going to be doing another bunch of Fighters Guild quests again, I'm afraid, to date. Hello, Corbin X. Hope all is well. Uh, you know, all is, uh, you know, all is decent. Let's put it that way. I had a really, really nice day yesterday. Mostly because I didn't actually have any work I had to do yesterday. And therefore I decided to do some work just for giggles anyway. But today has been a little bit more stressful. A lot of that has to do with Colin being a rambunctious little sod that won't settle down. So... Anyway, load saved game. This is where I left it. Yeah, I think I think what Queen posted just there was bait. <laughs> it's a trap. Give it a second. Any minute now. There we go. Lag, 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 lag. There we go. Beautiful. Oh yes, I'm still in werewolf form. I wish to take these gold pieces. There we go. You dream once again of the moon! Right, can I have some training? In giantish. And then can I rest? What's the time? Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna rest for 24 hours. Cat chases nerf darts, absolutely loves playing fetch with them. However, he prefers to do it at 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah, I can relate. Unfortunately, Colin doesn't bring anything back that I throw for him, uh, which, you know, makes playing with him a lot less convenient. He runs after it. Then, then reaches it, then just stands there and looks at it for like half a second and then just wanders off again. Two tasks we have available at the moment. Uh, hunt for a lycanthrope. Ha 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 ha. Uh, let's do hunt for an Atronach. Crypt, the Crypt of Balth, Balthivaror. Can I stop being a werewolf now, please? Back out into the streets of Mornoth. Where it is raining. Off we go. save at the top of the screen. So it's definitely working. The autosave mod is working. Let's have a look. Autosave, the crypt of what's it, autosave in Mornoth. 
Yeah, okay, cool. It's working. The system works, ladies and gentlemen. Where the heck are those things supposed to be? The Crypt of Balthivaror. Yeah, the game doesn't na natively have autosave. I've installed a mod for it. That Spot kindly provided a link to in the Discord after last week's stream. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Thanks for the gold. Oh, well, well, what have we here? I mean, I'm not even going to begin to try and explain why what's going on in the inside versus outside of this place. Some definite TARDIS shenanigans going on here. So, we're looking for an astronaut. Was that really necessary, Spider? I can hear a mummy or something, or a zombie around here. I think undead might be the theme here. I, I suspect we might be for looking for a flesh atronach. Is being a vampire anywhere as good as being a werewolf? I have no idea, man. Never been a vampire in Daggerfall. Ah! Sneak attack of the spider. Mind you, that could be the astronaut right there. Looks like a frost astronaut. Well, since he's stuck over there. Do you reckon in Daggerfall, frost astronauts are weak to fire? You'd think so, right? The Atronach is dead! Hopefully the Mage's Guild won't find out about it. Oh, there we go. No treasure. Hello, Spoda. Hello, other Spoda. Dead Spoda. Well... I suppose... I could explore a bit further. I haven't seen this tile set before in this playthrough. I don't remember it from previous ones. <sighs> Sigh. See, the wonderful thing though is, look, auto saves everybody. Got a hot minute to load. There we go. Uh, Hold there for a moment, Mr. Zombie. I wish to refill my lantern and then light it. I forgot the zombies can hit like a truck sometimes. Right. Oh, I didn't see that last time. I wonder if that moves... Yeah, it moves a bridge. Allows you to go through here. Hello, zombie. Hello, zombie. A pearl? Why not? Oh, bat and spider combat. Bat versus spider. Clash of the titans. Save versus spell made. All right, finally use the fireballs again. Job done. Job's done. Let's 
successful backstab with a warhammer. Ooh, going in the water. Ooh. Oh, I see we're in this bit now. Oh, drag. There's a few of them, actually. Dregs apparently have treasure. Dregs has really been the theme of this week, both on YouTube and here on Twitch for some reason. Spell's gonna run out in a second and then I'm gonna start sinking. Unless I climb out, there we go. Oh, good problem. Where's the exit back down there? Hello, Spuda. How would you even beat this game if you weren't a mage with the ability to levitate? I don't know. It's not like Morrowind where you can just, you know, buy a few potions of levitate. Or a scroll or two. Or a magic amulet that lets you levitate. If you're not playing some sort of mage in this game, you are so screwed. Oh, that's where I went the first time. All right, well, you know, that's, that's it really, isn't it? Unless... All right, cool. <sighs> yeah, there are potions and enchanted items for levitation, but like you can't even make potions in this game unless you're a high enough rank with a guild. Um, buying them anywhere seems to be virtually impossible. Um, and enchanted items, you basically just have to be lucky enough to find one by accident. So, I accept that, yes, it's technically possible to have all of those things in Daggerfall. Is it actually practical? Mm, fuck no. Take me back to Mornoth. Am I in Hammerfell? Yep, Northern Hammerfell at the moment. Entering Mornoth. Uh, you are climbing over the walls of Mornoth. Because those bastards have locked us out again. That's what I get for travelling recklessly instead of cautiously. Really? Am I not allowed up here? Or are you just some rando that's attacking me because I'm a werewolf or something? I don't bloody know. Horse, away! Right, uh, the fighters guild's down this way, isn't it? <laughs> There's arrows shooting past me. I think that might have just been a rando. The guards look a bit different. Take to have more depth. Yep, because I'm using the dream mod. 
to make the graphics prettier. Oh, I've gone straight past it. What temple's that? Stendar. Hmm. Here we go. I should turn my damn lantern off now. Wish there was a hotkey for that. Bag up job, Tim. Those mages guild bananas. <laughs> Why is to our clients' shenanigans? He'll be happy to pay up. Thank you. Get quest. Um, actually, no. Madam? Training lady? More giantish training, thanks. You dream once again of the moon. Again? Or, uh, why does Tamriel have to have two freaking moons? No. I suppose I can probably get more training from you now, huh? Giantish. I'm going to speak giant so well. Get quest. Hunt for a gargoyle. Castle Bowet. 23 days. Even. Stupid font. Making your C's look like E's. Come on, enough of the loading lag, thank you. Well, it's actually a castle, which makes a nice change. Like, it didn't say castle, balked, and then it turned out to be, like, you know, a hole in the ground. Or a fr frickin' tree with a door in the side. I don't think it matters what door we use here. We'll always enter the dungeon at the same point. Dungeons don't have multiple exits. Okay, time to go find a gargoyle. Oh, go away, nymph. I'll have your gold, but get lost. She was in here, wasn't she? Yeah. Fletch Atronach just died. Jesus Christ, hello. Yeah, they also hit like trucks. Any secret doors? No. Is that another nymph? It was. Giant's blood, yellow berries. No. Saint's hair, that is quite valuable. Oh, we have a sort of... I was going to say throne room, but it's not really. It's like the one in Privateer's Hold, except they've got an altar up here instead of a throne. Bat versus Nymph. Bat wins? Question mark? That is a... very poorly... 
concealed door. I wish to kill this nymph. Its laugh is annoying me. I'm not a nymph. God, that was close. You put an imp in a cage, but you didn't take away its magic? You fools! Well, they're not normally that easy to find. Um, there was just something weird going on with that particular door. Oh, we have a sewer section. Okay. Oh god. I wonder... If we've got a sewer section, maybe the quest objective will be down here in the sewer section. Then again, this is different from the previous sewer sections we've encountered. Flowing in midair, you know, as you do. What up? Give me your money. There's another one around here somewhere. Oops. Freaking drag, go away. Uh, buoyancy. Open sesame. It's the name of my hammer. Okay, well. Screw it. Down we go. Ah, severed heads and a drag. I suppose those were your severed heads. Oh, is this a different bit? It is a different bit. Yep. Amazing how the lantern still works underwater. You noticed that. Why does it make me crouch every time I pick something up? That's weird. Hmm, is there a, something else out there I can climb up through? Nope. Nothing at all. We're watching. Look at the breath meter we have. Is that because we've got really high endurance? Come on, let me out. There we go. Letters Boltzmann, thank you very much for 14 months of savage. Oh, hello. Where the hell did you come from? Is there a door here? No. Should be one over here, though, yeah. Leads to nothing.
What up? Just sitting here guarding these boxes. These really gigantic boxes at that. There's like Tomb Raider boxes. Have I got a notification for this? Uh, oh, sorry about hear that. It's going okay. Uh, first dungeon I did today, we managed to find the, the objective incredibly quickly. Less luck with this one though so far. It's a weird, this one's a really weird rehash of Privateer's Hold, except it's full of nymphs and flesh atronachs. Kinky, I suppose. I wouldn't want to be the guy that has to light the candles on that. Maybe the flesh atronachs are like slaves created by the uh, by the nymphs. Let's try and inject a little bit of narrative into this randomly generated nonsense. All the flesh Hatronachs are created from the previous occupants of this castle. And, uh, yeah, because someone, someone summoned a horde of nymphs via this summoning circle. And it all went really out of control really quickly. I can interact with that, apparently. That's weird. Um, hmm. Ah, we've not explored that bit, okay. Sometimes they just get a lucky roll on that there dice of theirs, don't they? There we go. That's how that was meant to go. Set the autosave mod for one minute. <laughs> okay, that leads us back down here. Apparently, we haven't explored this bit very much. Oh yeah, that's right, because I kind of came through here, killed this, and then just turned around and went back in there. Alright. So that's the dead end of the campfire. Game saved. There we go. <laughs> Problem is, I just can't understand how a gargoyle fits into this... Uh, Castle full of nymphs narrative. Dwarven battle axe. What do I currently have? Dwarven mace. Yeah, I don't. Oh, yeah, axes and maces are different weapon types in this game, aren't they? Had a brain fart there. Thanks for the money. That's this bit explored. Let's go back up here. do is shoot first, ask questions later with, with levitators, perhaps. So, yeah, I like I remember reading a bit a tidbit of uh, Forgotten Realms lore actually when it comes to like rogue wizards and how the police deal with them. And essentially what they do is they just kill the wizard straight away. They just immediately kill the wizard 
and then they go to a temple to have them temporarily resurrected to see if, you know, to find out, like, what the heck was going on. And then they can conduct the court case, but basically, yeah, that's, that's the way they operate in the Forgotten Realms, because it's a, you know, it's a universe where you can raise people from the dead. They just, they just kill first and ask questions later. <laughs> Literally. Is there a secret door along here somewhere? Because there's definitely some nymphs in that direction. Kind of spooky with all the uh, random nymph last laughter. I know you were kind of just standing there minding your own business, but I know how this game works. You were not innocent. God damn it, man. Look how much health damage he just did. The holy poop room it contains an altar to the poop god. I don't see any other secret doors up here, although there is. Wait, maybe there's this. Holy shit, yeah. Okay, hi Gargoyle. He, I guess he was king of the Pleasure Palace here. Uh, he's dead. Um, well, like... Fairy Dragon Scales, yep, we'll have those. Griffin Feather. 99 gold pieces of Mithril Claymore. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's us done. Let's skedaddle. Can we dispose of bodies in Daggerfall? Don't think so. No. Nope. Probably why that was introduced as a feature, actually, in Morrowind. not explore this passage. Well, for completeness' sake, and since we are here to grind XP anyway. We're watching you, scum. Any secret doors? Nah. It's an empty room. You know what? Why don't we rest here? Uh, Lake Bear, thank you for gifting those We're two tier one subs. Much appreciated. Scum. I think it is indeed September at the moment, actually, isn't it? I, I, I forgot that. Oh, that's the thing. There's like a discount on subbing and stuff. Uh, let's have a little look here. How's our progress now? 53%. That is depressingly small, but whatever. Now the exit. Yeah, the exit was upstairs, wasn't it? All right, so if we go up here, take a right. Yeah, okay, I know the way out. No, I didn't want to go to... Th Actually, yeah, I do want my wagon now. I think about it, because I've got all this crap in there that I don't need right, to carry around right now. There we go. Head to the big pile of treasure.
Enjoy your emojis, guys. Do you get Discord access if you're gifted a sub? That's a question I would love an answer to. Because I've only just realised that that... I hadn't considered that until now, but... Oh, look at this place. Makes me want to play a bit of Stronghold, this does. Stronghold's really hard. I kind of forgot how hard it was. I recently went back to play the original Stronghold HD. Uh, a couple of months ago. Because I was thinking of doing the whole Stronghold series here on Twitch. And I discovered, to my horror, that I'm really bad at Stronghold. <laughs> so... Um, right. Back to Mornoth. Travel cautiously. So hopefully we'll arrive there in the morning. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, yeah, you, you do make a good point, actually. It might have been a good idea to go with a, uh, a second weapon skill for grinding purposes, but hey, what are you going to do? I should have definitely made stealth a class skill as well, because stealth increases incredibly fast, even if you're not actually sneaking. I'm sure the ultimate grinding class is out there somewhere. Stronghold's supposed to be hard. I guess it must be. I, I, I was able to complete like the first four or five missions of the campaign and then I got to a bit where I was just I was really stuck because I just couldn't figure out how to beat it. It was it was like it was black and white syndrome, basically. Like the game starts off like really like this fun, chill, build your own little castle simulator, and then it just turns up the difficulty and becomes incredibly hardcore after a few missions and all chill is lost. Training, giantish. Let's rest for 24 hours. Try to use multiple trainers, nah. A bit faff running around looking for them all the time. Besides, I think you can only train in anything once per day. I don't think it's restricted to the one trainer. Giantish is in learning the language, yep. Giantish is one of our uh, secondary or tertiary skills, I forget which. Because of your outstanding weaponry prowess, we have promoted you to a champion of the guild. Among other benefits, this increase means cheaper weapon repair and more profitable work assignments. Hooray! More giantish. Right, now, good sir. Get to quest. I am now a champion, don't you know? Save the mage, hide and go seek Mirage. I th Mirage? I don't, I don't think I've seen Mirage before. That seems new. Debt beyond measure. Yeah, we did that before. It's where you go get that guy, and then you go get his stuff from a house, and then you go take him somewhere else, and then you get confronted by the mercenaries from the bank, and you can either hand him over or fight them. We've done that a couple of times. What's Mirage? The fellow in town who keeps coming round demanding a challenger for a fight offers gold and everything. I think it's going to be harder than it looks, but it's there if you want it. Oh god, no. Is, it, is this Daggerfall Garenor? Really? Well, all right then. Go to the Greenstun residence here in town. Name's Gelt. All I know is that you just want to go in and start a fight. The twit's been aching for a good one for a long time, he says. I'll send him word that you'll be there within, say, two days. Let you rest up a little if you need it. All right. Considering the quest is called Mirage, I'm sure there's probably more to this than meets the eye. Adam. Uh, General... People, where's Gelt? Greenstone residence on a map. There we go. It's just over there. So 
this building here, I think. Yep. Welcome! Now die! Well, he's not up here. Hello, Lord Kelbar. Whoa! Hey, Gelt. What are you doing in here with this spinning wheel? Thank you for coming, please. Tell me your full name. Very well then, Tim. That's my full name. Don't wear it out. I wish to test my skills and see if I emerge the victor. I, I ask that you hold nothing back. I have a small reward available for you if you succeed, and if you leave this building, you forfeit our duel. Let our duel begin! Gelt shouts a cantrip dramatically before disappearing. You brace yourself and lower the battle before you. Okay. The rat heals over. Gelt's voice breaks your puzzled thought process. Well, you can kill a rat, so what? Take this. The bat drops to the ground pathetically from its mouth. You hear Gelt say, warm-ups are over. Now we get serious. No arachnophobe out of you. Get ready. A fish? Really, dude? From the giant fish's mouth, you hear, come on, I want a real fight. Show me the metal of the fighter's guild. Okay, now he's a giant scorpion. That's a bit different. Come right here, we've got a bit more room. The scorpion's body heaves and finally drops. Well, so be it. Let's see you handle this. Oh, it's a werewolf, werewolf or a werebore? Not the first werebore you've seen, eh? But I'm just getting started. I like this quest. This is funny. Oh, he's a ghost. Hmm, then watch this. Oh, it's a slightly different kind of ghost. No more ghosts. Let's see if you can beat this. A strength that can even break iron, but what about this? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I need to heal. Alright, it's a drag. The levitating drag drops to the ground. Pretty impressive, right? But playtime is now over. What? I think there's a a a, a wyvern or something stuck in the floor. You know what, mate? Oh god, that's damaging me. Uh, whoops. Maybe we'll try and use something a bit... Oh, I'll stand a bit further back, how about that? Oh god damn it, game. Why do you have to be like that? Absolute bollocks, I tell you. Don't move the mouse, just let it. This is the sweet spot. Breathing fire even, but no more. Here's something else. Now what the Christ is that? Uh, that's a gargoyle, right. Stone skin cracked, all my tricks are shot. You leave me with no choice. See me in my true form. Uh, a vampire. Oh, you're a vampire ancient, aren't you? You dick. Oh, you dick. Ah. Any minute now. Come out here so you don't go spawning inside the floor again or something dumb like that. Right, now you're a vampire. Vampires don't like fire, right? That's a thing. Aha! The vampire tumbles to the ground. As with the other creatures, a voice comes from its mouth. It's been a long time since someone made it to the vampire. Your skill is truly memorable. Come, see me once, once more. Gelt appears once again. Now you can get to the bottom of the matter. <laughs> Standing in the huge pile of dead things. 
By rockin' you can be lethal. Please don't misunderstand. I can be a bit overly dramatic at times, I understand. Uh, my siblings tell me as much when they come around. Well, I suppose some explanation is due. We belong to a clan who identify with a gift for illusion magic. It's not so much a clan in that we all trace to a common ancestor. We all adopt ourselves, you could say. In any case, we have an interest in expanding our sphere of influence. We are indeed shapeshifters, but we often find ourselves disadvantaged in other fields. Combat in general is something of a weak spot for us. We would enjoy counting on you, counting you among our allies. If that sounds agreeable, perhaps someday we could send you occasional missives according to our needs. I assure you, we will compensate you for the work we do together. Oh, the things we could accomplish with your skill. But for now, farewell. Thank you for listening to me with such respect. Thousand gold. Well, well, well. That was an entertaining quest. That must have been ended by the modded quest pack. I refuse to believe Daggerfall Vanilla has a, has a quest that entertaining. Probably illusions, JB. He'll just snap his fingers and they'll all disappear. What does this guy do? Does he do any? No, he just stands here. Alright. Oh, right, okay. Let's just... Um... You've been playing Molded Sagagol. Did you mean to do that, Jay, or was that just a magnificent autocorrect screw up? Nice. Uh, let's have a look at our progress now. 59%. Oh, God, this is going slowly. All right. Mirage is gone now. How about we hunt for a spriggan? Clulp's guard, 32 days. Pretty sure I've already done to save a vampire. Uh, right. Oh. Right at the edge of the map. Yeah, no, that's true, actually. Yeah, vanilla doesn't let you pick. Vanilla just gives you one at random from the list. So glad I don't have to play Vanilla Daggerfall. We wouldn't have made it this far if I was playing Vanilla Daggerfall, I have to admit. Right, Clout's Guard, here it is. In game time, how long does it actually take to cross the map? Oh yeah, weeks, dude. I don't know how to check how long the, our little adventure has been going for, but it, I think it's been at least a year or two now in-game since Privateer's hold at the beginning. Alright, let's do something I usually forget. An anchor. Bubrum! Right out of the gate.
saber-toothed tiger. A pair of them, in fact. Okay. Bit different. The carrot sheet might have a day section if it's not theirs. Uh, log. History. Oh, we can change our name mid playthrough, that's a neat touch. Change my name to that. What's that ridiculous? Try Seragoth. Yes, we could do that. Yeah, I, I did just click history. Just gives us our basic info there and. This uh, auto-generated bio biography. Skyrim Super Special Anniversary Edition. When it, when actually is that coming out? Does anyone know? I have to admit, I didn't really pay attention enough to remember. What? Oh. I thought I was. <laughs> I forgot I was on a slope, and I thought this was a let straight and level corridor, and got really confused by suddenly meeting this. November. Oh my god. Is that an orc shaman? It is. I don't think I've ever seen one of them before. Nice. God, I remember when Skyrim was first coming out. Oh gosh, I was so excited. The whole fucking internet was, really, to be fair. Everyone lost their collective minds. And, you know, to be fair, the game turned out to be pretty darn good, too. I miss those days. That was back when, you know, up, up till that point, Bethesda had done, not including these old games, they'd done, you know, Morrowind and Oblivion and then Fallout 3. As a company at that point, they could basically do no wrong. Like, you, we were all supremely confident that anything they made would, was going to be amazing. So it was just fucking hype city, man. of Orc Shamans in this one. We've gone from not seeing any of the entire game to suddenly them being everywhere. I have many questions about what's been going on in here, Mr. Sabretooth Tiger. Unfortunately, I suspect I will not have answers to any of them. Up there, there there's the bastard. Right. All these orc shamans, man, they may want to play Warcraft 3 and Warcraft 2. But I'm not doing that because every time I get the itch, play a bit of Warcraft. 
blizzard like clockwork does something really goddamn stupid in the news and I just feel like ugh I'm not sure I really want to promote their games now not to mention I'd have to play that crappy remaster if I wanted to play Warcraft 3 which also kind of sucks uh, that's not the right spell there we go. Ah, uh, the cat is back. He's meowing. For a minute there, I thought it was a weird monster in the game. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, hang on a minute. I recognize that sound. Sorry, bud. You're staying outside until I'm done streaming today. I cannot trust you to behave yourself today for some reason. Orc Shaman. Oh, we've been here already. I haven't been this way, though. Explore for a little bit longer, kill a few more dudes, grind a bit more XP. Hello, giant. See, I level up all my giantish skill, and still, it's all for nothing. Outdoors, outside or out? No, I mean outside my office. He's he's currently well. He's I think he's gone away again now, but he was briefly just outside the office door meowing. Morrowind was two thousand and two. Yes, same year. Same year as Neverwinter Nights. Bearing in mind Deus Ex came out in 2000 and the graphical difference between Morrowind and Deus Ex in the space of two years it gives you an idea of how fast like graphics as, as a technology were moving back then. You could buy a computer and have it be obsolete in like three years. And they were quite expensive. Now you can buy a computer, it won't be obsolete in three years, thankfully, although they are still quite expensive because crypto miners. Bastards. Actually, that brings me on to a point I meant to mention earlier and then forgot because I probably really got distracted by a monster, but um, yeah, when the, when the fancy Skyrim special legendary anniversary What's It edition comes out, I, I've been saying for a while that I want to do a 24-hour um, a stream at some point to raise money for a new PC because this old potato here is starting to struggle a bit. Um... Yeah, the, the Skyrim Anniversary Mega Buy It Again Please edition um, might be a good excuse to do one then. Of course, it'll just be a free upgrade if you're on PC, won't it? So, that's alright. Uh, right, bored of this dungeon now.
yeah, you get some free content in the special edition, which is effectively the same as the anniversary edition. Like what you don't get, you, you don't get the creation club crap. Like whatever. I think the anniversary edition has what it has fishing and survival mode plus the creation club stuff. Uh, horse. It's, let's be honest, the reason Anniversary Edition mostly exists is so that people with the new consoles can play Skyrim again. And, like, do I really have a problem with that? Nah. If I were a console player mostly, I'd probably appreciate it. I just wish they'd do it with games other than just Skyrim, you know. get the whole Elder Scrolls catalogue updated to run on the newest console every time a new console comes out. Fucking sign me up, bro. Sounds like a great idea. Uh, can I pop some more gold in my wagon? I feel like it started piling up again. Yeah, it has. I feel they need to hunt the innocent. Oh, is it that time again? It is indeed. Oh, level progress now, 66% to level 10. All right, time to do some of that innocent hunting. wandering around out here. Apparently not. It's absolutely typical. I'm going to go back to the Fighters Guild and rest for another 24 hours now. Oblivion's engine isn't that buggy. It's not really the developer's fault that if you want to be, that you, that you can, you're able to break the game by modding it. You know, that's a bit beyond their purview, really, as makers of a video game. It's like, yeah, they've been kind enough to give you modding support in the form of, you know, the natively built features and the, um, you know, the plugin system and also the construction set, but they're under no obligation to make sure your game doesn't crash if you mod it to fuckery. Like, be reasonable. What is the time right now? 21, 28. Oh, yeah. That, that would explain much. Oblivion can break without mods. Well, if you say so. It's never happened to me. had oblivion break on me is when I've been modding it modding it to stupid degrees. Again though spot, it does run fine on modern computers. Unless you mod it to buggery. I'm sensing a theme here. Alright, just 
I'll be right, right with you in just a minute, mate. I gotta go outside and murder someone. I wish that was a figure of speech. Oh no, really? Oh fucking hell. So you've never crashed on modded oblivion by abusing the scroll duplication exploit no no I haven't never needed the scroll duplication exploit because I originally played oblivion on the PC and therefore you just Use, if you wanted to cheat, you just use the console to give yourself gold. That was a right laugh, actually, because all my friends at school had it on the Xbox, and they were always like, oh, yeah, you can do this duplication glitch to get loads of items that you can sell, and I was just sitting here like, yeah, dude, all I have to do is open the console and type in blah, 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 give, add item, whatever, and I have, like, ten bajillion gold. Plebs. Um... Although, you know, they had the last laugh because their, their copy of Oblivion actually ran at a decent frame rate, unlike mine, so. Because <laughs> I had a potato computer. Right. Hello. There we go. Oh, hunt for a day drop. Haven't done that one for a while. The lab laboratory of Rukit. A day drop. Sixteen days. Gog, your ball Fallout 3 was not impressed with it as having issues running out of the gate. Really? With the Gog version? That frankly surprises me. Oh, not wasting any bloody time, are we, today, apparently? Okay. I kind of forgot to equip my weapon. There we go. Whew. So, tell you what, I'm just going to shut that and I'm going to rest. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Um, okay, here, Queen, I have a question for you, actually, when it comes to Fallout 3. Have you had Fallout 3 installed on that computer in the past? And you say you went back to your Steam version. Did you have the Steam and GOG versions installed at the same time? Because that is a fantastic way to fuck everything up. Additionally, even if you uninstalled the Steam version first, did you check to make sure that all of the old INI files and crap left over in your documents folder were, go were gone, because not deleting those before installing a new version of Fire will always fuck like everything. Yeah, but the thing is, if you in, in, even if you uninstall Fallout 3, it will leave that junk behind in your documents folder, and it will wreck 
any attempts at playing the game when you reinstall later. Oh, is that Mr. Hello, Mr. Daedroth. How do? I've been looking for you. Oh boy. <laughs> what is he doing up there? Well, there we go. If you really do delete that, then it's a goddamn mystery, and I can't help you. Hiding from me, clearly, yeah, I suppose so. Like, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> that's quite that's quite understandable. We've getting, been getting a bit lucky with you lately, haven't we, with all these quest targets being very close to the entrance. Ah, poop room. Locked poop room as well. That's, that's not useful to anyone. I don't think I have a backup copy of David Crumpton's save files, and uh, even if I did, I'm not interested in returning to that playthrough. If I ever play New Vegas again, it'll be with a completely different mod setup and with a completely new character. And that's a big if, frankly. I haven't really had much of an urge to play New Vegas for a long time now. Hmm. Ah, haven't gone that way. How do we get there? Back through here, up, along, right. Fireballs were a bit close to him, really. Uh. I'll do the trick. Wizards fire. No, no, no. There we are. Oh, how delightfully pointless. <laughs> with Old World Blues is I really wasn't looking forward to playing it. Like, once you've watched someone else play it and you've seen all the jokes, like, is it actually that fun to play? It didn't look very fun to play. Wait. 
Loot. Oh, I'm back in here. That's 90% of this place explored a bit, except for an underwater bit. Let's get out of here. Hey, skill increases. Raw. Not sure how many of those are actually relevant to us, but we'll take them. Eighty percent. Oh my goodness. Rather sadly for a murderer. Or even our skills, I think. Uh, restoration, destruction, blunt. That's the, that's the primaries. Um, secondaries, I'm a little bit fuzzier on. Closer to ending my torment, yes. Although I'm sure I'll have a couple of really nasty main quest dungeons to get through before I'm finally done. Right. Training. Let's do running this time. Use destruction spells more instead of relying on the enchanted item for leveling purposes. I suppose, I suppose so. Problem is, it uses up precious magicka that I need to heal myself with. So that's why I kind of haven't done it really. But maybe you're right. Maybe we should go through the next dungeon and just try and you know fireball everything. I'm doing these hunt for a thing quests at the moment because they they guarantee to give you a dungeon. And that's how you get XP in this game, dungeons. Don't need to do all the silly fetch quests in towns. Hi Dave, hi chat, hi grind. I will. What's the next step of the main quest? I don't know. We'll just, we'll just get a letter as soon as we're the requisite level. You know how this main quest works. Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place for you. Variax, thank you very much for the raid. Hello, people. Welcome to my own personal purgatory. That is Daggerfall. We're level 9. We're 80% of the way to level 10. And once we get to level 10, we can finally finish the main quest. And then I can kiss goodbye to this game forever. Unfortunately, though, actually grinding out these last few skills is proving a little bit difficult. I'm in yet another dungeon here for the Fighters Guild at the moment. We're currently hunting for a... Was it a gargoyle? Yeah, I think a gargoyle. 
And uh, the mission today is to just basically try and use lots of destruction spells. Because I might be able to level faster if I do that. Uh, Wizard's Fire is probably a good bet. Someone did point out that uh, using that using actual spells instead of magic items to do ranged magic might be a good idea. Uh, okay, I guess I'll, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess I'll put an anchor here. Sure, why not? <laughs> See how quickly it chews through my magicka though. And this is with me having upgraded my magicka a lot. I have intelligence 100 right now with this character. And all my magic is just gone now. After a few wizard bolts. I suppose I'll keep at it though. I think we only have 12 days to do this quest though, which is a tricky thing, so I can't rest too much. Although I suppose I'm not really doing this quest for the reward, I'm doing it for the, the XP. Magic Battle Axe, why not? Troll's blood, orc's blood. Just a, ch a chest full of gold and blood. Sounds like a sea shanty. You're on a retro kick now playing the original Quake with DOSBox. Nice. I've I found I, I, that there's a free game on uh, GOG called Lords of Midnight, which is a like little remaster slash updated version of a game that came out in like 1984. It looks really interesting. It's like part RPG, part war game. And it's basically in this knockoff Lord of the Rings setting where you play as the, the good guys trying to defeat the evil big bad. And it looks... See, I'm instinctively going back to whacking things with the hammer. I need to use spells. Anyway, I downloaded it from GOG and it looks like it might be worth a try at some point. I might need to read the manual for it first though because it does have a built-in tutorial, the new updated version of it, that you can get from GOG, but I don't think it's quite exhaustive enough. No, no, no. There we go. Some more blood in me pocket, yeah. Weaker spells are better for leveling. Are they indeed? That's good to know. I guess I should, I should probably use shock then instead. What's the cheapest offensive spell I've got? I think it's shock. Ah, no, frostbite. There we go. Yes, Django, but my blunt weapon skill is not leveling nearly as fast as my destruction skill, so. Come on, Django, you're 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 a you're a min maxer. How do you not understand this? Mister I pick I, I, I reverse pickpocket items onto the geckos in Fallout 2 so that I can pickpocket it back off them to increase my steel skill. <laughs> And get XP anyway. Like, come on, man. <laughs> he actually did that. I'm not making that up. He posted about it in, in Discord. Hmm, okay, what am I missing here? Ah, that's what I'm missing. Alright, we need to go up along here and then back down there and then left. Let's 
See a clink of crap. I think it's this way we didn't go. Yeah, here we go. Progress. Oh, well, there he is. There we go. Death by repeated frostbite. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a scorpion. Okay, we're in a bit of bother now because, yeah, it paralyzed us. Ugh. Should we try that again, giant scorpion? Did I remember to loot the gargoyle? No, it doesn't have treasure. No, oh, let's just go rest in here for a bit. Is. Well, I'm only nearly dead. Our destruction skills improved. Hooray! That's what I wanted. 93% of the way to level 10. Oh my god! Oh yeah, that's true. Django is a chronic sufferer of restartitis. Okay. Well, well, there's a fish down there. Is Frostbite going to work underwater? Let's find out! Apparently, yes. Floating letter. Oh, hello. Lords? Need some gold. All right, well, we still haven't... Well, actually, no, we already killed the gargoyle, so I can just get out of here whenever I want. And I, I want to pretty much now, actually, so... Recall! Oh, God, you imagine if I accidentally hit anchor? I bet that's happened to people before. Yeah, I didn't actually do exactly the exit for this one, did I? How much gold do we have? Many and or lots. I have 7,660 on my person. And we have a further 121,750 on the wagon. Back to Mornoth.
Also level up by lock picking. Well, unfortunately, lock picking isn't one of my skills, I don't think, so. I don't think that would really help me. No bank account yet. Well, no, I've got a, I've got an account at the Bank of Wagon. Why would you need anything else? It's not like interest rates or a thing. So much money, at one point the wagon couldn't carry it. <laughs> Magnificent. I'm amazed you managed to play the game for that long, frankly, but each to their own, I suppose. What up, my dude? Actually, this is another, a good opportunity to make another deposit. Gold does have weight in this game. Unfortunately, gold is also very, very, very inflated in value in this game as well, so... If, it were, if, this, if this was real life and we had 120 odd thousand gold pieces in real life, in the Middle Ages, you'd basically be able to buy your own empire. You could just buy a whole freaking continent with that kind of money. Hire every single mercenary in Europe and just conquer a country of your choice. I have about 13.5 million of gold at, at today's prices. It must be more than that. Meanwhile, in Daggerfall, oh, you want to buy that house? Yeah, that's going to cost you like 500 grand. <laughs> Able to destabilize entire nation's economies with this Daggerfall loot pile. Ninety-three percent. Well, folks, I'm afraid I'm done. It's twenty past seven. That is it for the stream today. So it looks like we're going to have at least one more stream of Grindy Fest before we are allowed to finally, you know, we're watching. progress the main quest of it. But it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, look at this. Auto saves. Brilliant. Okay, folks, have a good one. Uh, I will send you on to someone since the raid button is actually working this week. I shall send you to Francois. What's he playing at the minute? I don't recognize the game. I can't tell from just the thumbnail. We're watching you. Looks interesting and very retro, whatever it is. All right, there you go. Say hello to Francois for me. And right at the death there, little blind mouse, thank you very much for the gift subs. It's very generous of you. Enjoy your emojis, folks. We're watching you. Mucho thank you. Scum. All right, folks. Have a good one. See you back again next Sunday for more of this. Friday for more Fallout 3. And um, at some point over the next couple of days, I'll be releasing another We're Morrowind video and another Scum. battle report on YouTube once I finally get Adobe Premiere to render a video correctly without mucking about. Have a good one, folks. Actually, the Morrowind one I might be able to put up today. 
I might be able to put it up later this evening because that one's nearly done. It's actually currently paused, the rendering. It's kind of like 10% to go, so uh, that might be up later this, this evening, tonight. So, Right, see you, folks. Got to go get myself some food and also feed the cat. So uh, say hi to Fraz. I'll see you next time.